Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my miniature review of Greta. It is a suspense thriller, and it was released in the Toronto Film Festival in 2018, but it didn't come to the United States until 2019. So that's why the title of this video has 2018 in the uh, description, even though I'm talking about it in 2019. The story is about a young woman named Frances. One day she finds a designer handbag on the New York subway and being the good Samaritan that she is, she uh, takes the handbag back to the owner's home and the owner is an elder woman named Greta. She's very lonely. She's a widow. Her uh, daughter is growing up and going off to you know conquer the world and uh, Frances herself, she's uh, recently lost a loved one so she's feeling lonely. So these two uh, lonely ladies uh, begin a friendship. But unfortunately, Greta wants a much more deeper maternal uh, friendship than Francis is willing to offer. And uh, Greta becomes more and more obsessive, more and more uh, you know, uh, dangerous. So Francis has to uh, do her best to try to uh, end the relationship with Greta because Greta is not taking no go away or uh, get out and all various other things or ignoring. Uh, like another uh, psychotic uh, movie uh, character, she won't be ignored. <laughs> so uh, I didn't enjoy this movie. I, I, I don't like despise this movie. It's terrible. I will say these two good things about the movie. First, the music. Greta is a uh, piano uh, student and teacher. And she loves piano music, so there's piano music playing throughout the film, and it's excellent pieces. Uh, I will also say that uh, there's something that happens at the beginning of the movie uh, that seems inconsequential, but at the end of the movie, it uh, reveals what happened. It's like, oh, that's a cool way to bring the movie full circle. On that front, I can definitely praise it. But everything else, I can't. I really despise this film. And here's the thing. I know that in fiction, very often illogical things, unreasonable things, strange things happen to happen in order for the, the movie to take place, in order for the story to continue. That's fine if it's a little bit here and there. But this movie, it's just stupid decision after stupid decision after stupid decision after stupid decision. It, and it's not like these people are dumb. They're not like Chrissy Snow from uh, Three's Company. These are reasonably intelligent people, yet they do, do some common sense stuff to protect themselves. Common sense stuff that they should know better to do. Not just uh, Francis, not even just Greta, but every character has a moment of stupidity in this film. And I'm not the type of person to uh, walk out of a movie, but there's something that takes place in Francis' workplace that's just plain incorrect. It just wouldn't go down that way in a place of business, and yet it does. And I would have been packing up myself, getting ready to go if I took time to walk out. And later on in the movie, something that did happen that's uh, uh, basically a trope of horror movies, and I won't say because it'll be spoiler, but still, it happened. And if I were type of person to walk out, I will walk out. Now, because this is a non-spoiler view, I was trying to think of a uh, non-spoiler example about protecting yourself with common sense. So here's an example. I'm in my early 40s, and I recently uh, had moved back uh, with my family for medical reasons. A couple months ago, I was going to go to a party. Uh, I'd never been there, but I had the address, and it was pretty far away. So I just wrote the address, and I left it in a note and said, okay, I told my family, okay, this is where I'm going tonight, just in case, you know. And I don't expect anything bad happen at the event. But, you know, what if my car breaks down? What if I get into an accident? What if uh, I have some type of a medical issue? What if they just plain have to reach me uh, simply because something else is happening on their end or something like that? You know, basic things to let you know what's going on. And my family does the same for me. If they're going to go out somewhere, they say, hey, I'm going here, I'm going there. You know, something basic to protect yourself. You know, common sense things. And these people don't do those common sense things. They make so many dumb like, didn't your mama teach you better dumb decisions throughout the whole movie, including the one smart person, even the one smart character who actually does smart things throughout the movie, has a moment of stupidness. And I was just like, ugh. So yeah, I don't like this movie. 
I don't recommend this movie. Now, unless I see a whole bunch of awful movies uh, for the coming year, this film is easily going to be on my most painful top 10 uh, movies of 2019, even though it's technically a 2018 film. I did not like this movie at all. Do not recommend Greta. <laughs> so those are my thoughts on the film. I would love to know what you think about the movie. Be sure to share whatever comments you like in the comments section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Hero Knight. Thank you for watching, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.